Leo, welcome to What You Need to Hear Right Now, General Love Reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Leo. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Leo. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Leo and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. So, Leo, I want to say thank you for your understanding, your patience. I have been a little late getting these videos out. I had a birthday trip and then I got a cold, so I just needed some time to heal and recover, and I really appreciate you guys understanding that. And this is what you voted on to be the next series topic of conversation. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit has to say. I'm so excited to do this reading for you guys. I hope you are too. So without further ado, let's get your reading started. So first, I'm going to use this sound bowl here to clear set the energy and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card poll to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect to your energy by doing this. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring this sound bowl three times. And during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you may have in regards to your love life. If there is a certain someone, start thinking about them now. And we'll see what spirit has to say. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Leo. Okay, so I got a lot of messages for you guys, so bear with me one moment, please. So the first thing I wanted to mention was that when I was going back here to grab my sound bowl, like I knocked over, you know, one of my Palo Santo sprays I use, and I caught it though. So to me, it was almost like someone, okay, this is going to sound really um, particular and specific, but it's for someone, it's like the person that maybe is coming in for you guys, like wanted to try to like break up with you or call things off with you. But then, you know, now they're changing their mind and trying to grab a hold of it again. And then I saw someone like smoking a cigarette, but like flicking it. And I wonder if this is someone that smokes or even is trying to quit smoking. And that's how some of this energy is feeling like, like you guys trying to quit each other, have a break from each other, but it's not going so well, or it's a lot harder than someone thought it was going to be. I don't know if they've done this before where they've like, you know, had a fling and then were able to walk away from it pretty quickly without a care. But Leo, you've done something else to them that's making them kind of be like, damn, why the hell did I do that? And they're kind of missing you. And it's hard to like break this habit of wanting you, Leo, is kind of what I feel. Or this may be how you feel about this person, okay? Roles can always be reversed. And then I heard too tight. <laughs> we could go in many different directions about what that could possibly mean. I wonder though if like the hold on someone is pretty tight. Like it almost feels very similar to Aries reading. So if you have strong Aries in your chart or if you're dealing with the Aries, I highly suggest checking out the Aries reading to see if there's messages for you there. But I wonder if, um, you know, there's just being with each other, like there was a lot of things that confined you guys. And I wonder if this person may have been a little bit possessive, controlling, and that's kind of why I get this like tight hold. And this could be a Taurus. I feel that's very strong Taurus energy, whether you're dealing with a Taurus or you have strong Taurus in your chart. I want to know what this is all about because I feel like some of you guys, this energy is lingering and it's lingering for a reason. I want to see if they're going to do anything with it and what else you need to know about this. Oh, and I did see the letter K as in Kristen, as in 
Kai first, middle, last initial can mean something to someone, but I feel like the last text message that was sent to someone was just like the letter K or they use that when they're frustrated with you and or you use it when you're frustrated with them and just send that and they know like don't message me again. But this feels on and off and it feels ongoing. So I want to get to the bottom of this and see what spirit wants to tell you guys about this connection here because I still feel it's very relevant to what's going on in your love life at this time or soon will be relevant to what's going on in your love life. So tell me about the energy for Leo and their love life that Leo needs to be aware of, know about. Tell me more about this energy for Leo. I just heard Love and Basketball, and that's like an old movie from the 2000s. Um, I wonder if someone is really into basketball, plays it on the weekend, or has like a basketball team that they rep really hard. Okay, there we go. So, seventh house partners. Okay, number 31. So, the seventh house is ruled by the sign Libra. And I do feel like this has to do with someone that you feel is supposed to be yours and vice versa, but there's catching up to do. And I wonder if there was some sort of break or some sort of break up that has really put things into perspective for someone. Because Libra is an air sign. It's all about the mental energies, the intellect, the pondering, the thinking, and particularly with the partnership and the house of partnership, I feel... Like, this is what they're thinking about you, Leo, is that, you know, you're someone that they can imagine being with, that they feel as if there's a significant connection here that they may not have with anyone else. Like, they may start to feel like there's such a significance. They're doing research on, um, you know, why I'm seeing things that remind me of Leo, synchronicities, and they may be telling themselves or even other people, like, you could be a soulmate. But it's a difficult it's complex, I kind of feel, because maybe some of you guys feel this way about each other, but at the same time, like, there's something out of balance, which is, like, the alignment, which is maturity, which is what, you know, someone else needs that the other person can't give right now. But I think if you guys have been on a break or a breakup, it's put a lot of things into perspective about them and has made them think something particularly strong about you, Leo. That there's some things meant to happen here. And they're losing time. Someone may have thick thighs, muscular thighs. Um, you know, I see that for someone here that may be notable. Maybe there's a birthmark or a tattoo on someone's thigh. Tell me more about this energy for Leo. Okay. Make the effort. Wow. And it says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. See, this is what I was saying about seeing the confirmations and synchronicities. I feel like since you guys have had your split, your break, or this time of separation, silence, like they have been bombarded by spirit for of messages about you, like whether it's seeing your name everywhere, whether it's seeing your birthday or knowing your birthday's coming up. And um, I do feel they check your social media. If you do have one, they check it a lot. They like to hold tabs on what you're doing and what you've been up to, particularly who you're hanging out with. They get a little bit jealous. I feel Virgo energy all of a sudden here. So again, you could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have strong Virgo in your chart. But I do feel with this combination here, it's making them want to make the effort in trying to fix this. Like I said, when I knocked over the spray bottle and caught it, it's like, whoa, wait, before I mess everything up, before I mess up everything with the person that I want to be with, that I see myself being with, that we are meant to be, because I do see this is all coming together for them now. Um, they have some, you know, damage control to do. And I do feel like they are going to reach out. I do feel like they are going to try to make things better with you within the next weeks, months, I definitely feel something around your birthday. So whether that's like a birthday text or a birthday call or, you know, but it feels like out of the blue and why they're doing it. And you kind of maybe be like, huh, that's interesting. It's because they want to make something work here with you, Leo. So let's go ahead and pull some more cards. I'm, this is so weird. This has never happened to me before. I'm smelling like sour candy. Like, I don't know if they're sour Skittles or Sour Patch Kids or what. 
um, you know, first they're sour, then they're sweet type of energy that they carry. Interesting. Someone could be eating those, but tell me more about this energy for Leo spirit. Okay, judgment. Wow. Talk about like a rebirth. Talk about something being brought up from the past. Talk about something that is meant to pass final judgment in this time. You know, for those of you that don't want to deal anything with the past anymore, this may not be your reading. But those of you that have felt like there's something about this person that, you know, needed a wake up call or needed something to better understand that you're I don't know, you just, both of you feel very, very uh, subliminally that you are guy meant to be together. And there's that tension that has always been carried there within the connection. But I don't know, there's something about recently that has made them really wake up to this more so than ever before. We'll clarify and we'll get deeper into it. But first, let me get all the cards out first. Yeah, King of Cups. Very strong Scorpio energy coming through here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. We got the Empress here. Taurus energy, Libra energy. You guys could have Taurus or Libra rising or moon. Yeah. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Sagittarius energy. There are two nines here. Your birthday could be July 29th, August 9th, August 19th. But yeah, I feel that um, you knew that there is like something off with this person, but more so, I feel like they tried to guard themselves against you, Leo. Like during the end of your connection of, you know, the last time it was rehashed and sparked, it was like they were just defensive, cold, distant. They did that to kind of start to separate their feelings of what they thought was going to happen and what was realistic. And they kind of sabotaged themselves with this because, um, you know, they pushed you away is what I feel. And they made this wall up against you and you're not going to keep knocking at a door that won't open, period, you know. So I feel like with this Nine of Pentacles energy, um, you know, they made this wall around themselves and now that they're realize you're not knocking anymore. You're not trying to um, do anything on your end to follow up on this because you've done everything you could. It's getting really lonely. It's getting really lonely for them. And I feel that not even just themselves, but other people are noticing that this person has not been doing as well. They've been, you know, a little bit lower of a mood. I'm seeing like someone getting headaches easily. Um, I don't know why I just heard concussion. Maybe this person used to play sports and has had concussions in the past or that spirit's metaphor for, you know, them not thinking very straight right now. And it's like a lot of people are seeing that they've been, you know, quite not like themselves since you guys have split off and split apart. And people ask about you and they get defensive. They don't want to talk about it because I think it rehashes their own um embarrassment guilt or shame about how they ended things with you knowing it was the wrong choice for them but with the nine of wands the positive thing about it is that there's some sort of fight still for them to pick themselves up in this and recently they've kind of discovered that or had that spark for you leo some of you guys have been seeing birds as a specific sign from spirit um, whether that's a crow, whether that's an owl, whether that's a dove, hell, it could be a pigeon and it means something. Okay. So look that up. Tell me more about this nine of wands. I want to know what gave them this spark again. Okay. So we have the seven of cups and the king of wands. Wow. Okay. So two kings here. I mean, we see this as being like something where there was alignment that was off. Definitely. <sighs> So the Seven of Cups and the King of Wands. When the King of Wands is emotionally confused, by the way, Leo energy, you could be dealing with another Leo. They are impulsive. They are reckless. They can be a little bit um, aggressive. And I think that they, all these feelings were starting to come up about you, Leo, that they weren't really ready to understand 
or deal with. I, I feel like this is someone who is truly sensitive, but they don't like to label themselves that way. They don't like to go into that emotional depth. It scares them. They're not used to it. So when they start to feel themselves getting to that emotional confusion or deepness, they start to act recklessly. And yeah, I definitely see a pattern of self-sabotage here that they may habitually do. But I think the spark kind of, you know, what got them to step up a bit was to decide that um, what emotion to really focus the energy on when it comes to you. Because I think, I don't know how long this has been going on for, I feel a long time. But even that, it's like, they, for some reason, may be seeing that they played with you too much. And now, like, you really are putting down any effort of trying. And now that's making them focus on the emotions that they should have been focusing on instead of running away from or trying to avoid. So I feel with them sitting in their loneliness, sitting in their um, realizations that things are changing and it may not work out in their favor, that's kind of has what has gotten them to re-spark themselves again and pick themselves up again. Someone likes to roll their own joints or their own cigarettes, I'm seeing too. But at the dead center of this is judgment. So this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, also Scorpio energy. This is coming up for a reason. And they feel like the amount of emotions that come up about you mean something. They have to. And I do feel like their own spirit team has been trying to wake them up about this. That's why they've been sending them the overload of signs, synchronicities, confirmations about you. This could be someone that you have children with, um, for a few of you out there, for that confirmation. And they may feel like for the betterment of everyone involved, especially if you do have children, that you guys need to be back together. And that's what would work best. They feel like there's a cord between the two of you guys that cannot be sundered, cannot be broken. And that's what has been really stirring up within them emotionally, which is giving them the sense of urgency of needing to do something to fix this quick. So with judgment at the dead center of this, yeah, I feel something's coming about this. This is re resurrecting. This is coming back into your life. But I feel their spiritual team has been making sure that when they come back, they will be ready and they will be in alignment and truly taking accountability and making the effort that you need to see from them that would be worthwhile. I definitely feel that here for a lot of you guys. A definite wake-up call was needed when you guys went on that break. Or no contact or whatever it was. What's crossing this is the King of Cups. Scorpio energy. Yeah, they're bad with their emotional expression. They don't know really how to manage their emotions. They don't know how to display them. So I think that's the challenge for them is to come forward from the heart and tell you the truth. And to show how much they care. I don't know, something maybe they grew up with a little bit of not so much emotional display. Um, maybe emotions were discouraged from someone to be displayed. So they've you know, grown into this habit of being distant with their emotions or not being so forthcoming with them. But I do feel, Leo, in order for you to think that this is worth it, they have to come from the heart. And I think they know it too, and that's what they're trying to prepare for in this moment with you. Because I think this person, like, okay, they'll be... Um, you know, emotionally distant, maybe emotionally unavailable at times, but then when something comes forth that, you know, is really um, anyone would kind of react to emotionally, they don't, they go overboard, like zero to a hundred, I kind of feel with this person. And maybe that's something where you kind of took a step back realizing that they need to work some things out emotionally. What's crowning this is the four of pentacles, Capricorn energy. So what you guys see from this now is someone being stubborn, someone holding back to the length where you're just kind of getting over it, to the length where there maybe you're starting to get bored even. Just, you know what, fine. If you want to live in your own castle by yourself, go right ahead. 
And I think they realize that's the situation they created for themselves. So with this Four of Pentacles, yeah, I feel that they really realize that they blocked you out, pushed you away. That has now made you feel somewhat distant to them. You stopped trying. And I think that that's something that for the first time, whether you've done this newly or you, I don't know, something really gave you the final straw to not try again, has made them realize what they've done to close your heart to them. And it may even come forward when it's around your birthday and they try to reach out and you just kind of give a thumbs up. You know, not much of a thank you, but okay, cool, thanks. Like, side eye. Um, that's what it really hurts them that, or yeah, hurts them and even makes them realize the hurt that they've caused. Because you are Leo, you are warm, you're vibrant. When you're into someone, you show your all, but when you're over them, man, you don't want to mess with Leo when they're over it. And I feel with this Four of Pentacles here, you felt like they just kept on blocking you and blocking you and blocking you. What's rooting this is the Empress. Taurus energy, Libra energy, Venus energy. So with this Empress rooting the situation, for those of you that consider yourselves to be uh, dominantly feminine energy. We all have masculine and feminine energies, but we do tend to lean more towards one depending on our evolution of healing, spirituality, or natural energy, right? So those of you that do say that you are dominantly feminine, the masculine is seeing you are the one. You are their counterpart in this journey, in this lifetime for them to cement something here. You are naturally very handsome, very beautiful. And I'm just saying, like, how do I look? You know, I'm hearing that. And then they are just, like, taken away when they see you come out of the room when you're done getting ready. Like, damn, I can't believe I have Leo as my date, as my, you know, person I'm taking out. They like to show you off a bit, Leo. Especially your social media, if it's on, if it's influencer, or just like you have really sexy pictures, pretty pictures, handsome pictures up there. They definitely show you off. But, you know, the Empress is not all just about beauty. The Empress is also about creating a foundation of abundant stability and unconditional love. And I do feel that's what they realize you did try to provide for them, was that safe space, but not at your own expense. And I kind of feel with this Empress energy too, for a few of you, there could be mother issues going on here. Um, someone with, uh, you know, not so emotionally available mother, emotionally distant mother. Someone could have lost their mother a long time ago. Um, so that is part of the reason why there's this lingering distrust in love and it to be as available as what you want to provide here. Someone could also be in the beauty industry, um, whether that's like makeup, hair, modeling, photography, design. I feel that with this Empress energy too. But they are coming to realize that you are the person to have this foundation of love, respect, honor with. But yeah, there, I'm really drawn to this snake here. So someone could be born near the snake in Chinese astrology or have like a snake tattoo or has resonance with snake symbol energy. Um, you're not the one to be messed with. This is not something that's for free that's going to be given without anything in return. So they may know they are in, you know, great danger of losing this with you you would never be that open to them again is something that they're very afraid of in the recent past we have the nine of pentacles virgo energy i don't know if they've seen you lately whether you posted a picture um i'm seeing a picture in a swimsuit very specifically it looked like it was you know about you're about to leave to something um some sort of beach pool event you snapped a quick pic or you know just generally if they saw you face to face or whatever you look good you look healthy you look vibrant you look independent you look like you're doing well you have it all leo and i think that that's something maybe within themselves they didn't know before if they really deserved at a subconscious level or if they could even step up to this position where you are in life with the Empress, with the, you know, Nine of Pentacles. You are a prize. 
that's how they kind of view it and see it. And again, whether it's the bombardment of spiritual messages or, you know, them sinking, th sitting and really thinking about everything they've experienced with you, and what this could all lead to should they make the wrong choice. There's something that now they're seeing they have to go after. This is the one I want. This is the one worthwhile. This is the one that stands out above all the rest. So I have to get this quick. So to see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold from now till the upcoming weeks, end of the month, next couple months, you need to be aware of, know about. We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome. Pull some more tarot oracle cards to dive deeper into this. So if you really felt that this message was for you, I promise there'll be more answers and information in the extended reading. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where I depart, Leo, I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it's giving you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your love life and what you need to hear right now in this moment. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Leo, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Leo.